when our administration basically says, hey, we're not going to really protect the border, people start pouring in. Then when people start pouring in, what happens? Well, in a place like a border town of Texas, a far right Latina, some far right Latina, uh, Myra Flores wins what was a Democrat seat for a hundred years because people have had it and people want legal immigration, not illegal immigration. And then what happens? Well, finally, when enough people realize that people are pouring through the border, that no one is in charge of this, uh, suddenly the media, two years too late, again, that's the theme that the media always, the media and the quote unquote sane Dems, they always catch up way too late. Then they start asking questions. Here's NBC's Chuck Todd asking Kamala about the border. This is just a day or two ago. Would you call the border secure? I think that there is no question that we have to do what the president and I asked Congress to do. Is the first request we made, pass a bill to create a pathway to citizenship. The border is secure, but we also have a broken immigration system, in particular over the last four years before we came in and it needs to be fixed. We're gonna have two million people cross this border for the first time ever. You're confident this border's secure? We have a secure border in that that is a priority for any nation, including mm -hmm. ours and our administration. She is so extraordinarily vapid. Like, that's the only thing you could say about her, right? It's like, man, between her and Biden, it's like Biden doesn't know what she, he's saying and will just read anything. With her, it's as if they put her out there having no knowledge of anything. And she strings together words in the most circular way to say absolutely nothing. Chuck is doing the best job he could there. Hey, uh, lady, you know, two million people are coming in. That's an awful lot of people. Uh, you, this thing's secure. And then she just says, well, we have a policy of a policy and it's a policy, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so again, the cause and effect situation here is in full effect. Bad policies lead to crazy things happening, and then crazy things actually then reverberate. When a crazy thing happens at the federal level, it may start in a border town of Texas, but then it reverberates throughout the nation.